Hi, my name is Jack. I'm a star. Picture this. My parents went away on a week's vacation. And some sticky situation. No, that's, wait, that's not how this goes. Okay. I'm sitting in the back of my truck. I'm... Quiet, you. Quiet, quiet. I'm... I'm Mom, I'm recording. Okay. I'm... Uh, sitting in the back of my truck. I got my truck back. I'm in Longview. I've spent thousands of dollars today on things and stuff. Okay. I'm in the back of my truck. I did all this alone. Not one, not, not one of you fucking mooks was able to help me. Not fucking one. Which, probably okay. But y'all sure missed the fucking chance to get some fucking brain points. So, I'm in, I'm in the back of my truck. I'm sitting in one of them fold-up fold -up chairs. This one says Ozark Trail. The one that I got back at the house is CX branded, right? I got I got two folding chairs because I imagined I would be fucking sitting with fucking somebody else. F silly me, right? Okay, sorry, I'm, I'm not too bitter. I'll try to keep the profanity down. I hear there's a lot of kids watching these guys. Okay, so I'm in the back of my I'm on, I'm in my tailgate. I got the tailgate down, and the and the chair is half on the gate and half in the bed. All right, so I'm right on the edge of the tailgate. I'm not sitting on my tailgate kicking my legs. I'm, I'm sitting in a chair because because it's a throne because I'm a king and a god. But we'll get to that later. All right. So in my left hand, I'm holding the phone. This is the Google Pixel 3a. I'm not going live because I don't have I, I don't have the emotional fortitude. I really don't. I've had a hell of a week. Happy birthday! Holy shit! I've been telling everybody that we're right around to that, I, that it's all a hazing prank from the from a secret society that I'm trying to join. I tell them that it's not true. It's amazing what people believe. But believe this, I'm sitting in the back of the truck and I'm parked at the laundromat. I got 51 minutes to kill. Actually, probably more because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you about these clothes in a minute. But they're, they're washing and the cycle is 51 minutes. I paid extra for hot water. Like you do. And I'm parked in my truck. I, my, tr my truck is parked on the very edge of the parking lot that faces the highway, which is, uh, I think, Washington Boulevard. It doesn't matter. doesn't matter where it is. I'm not, I'm not trying to locate you. I'm just, trying to, I'm just trying to set up. I'm trying to give you a, a theater of the mind here. All right. I'm in my truck. I'm in the back of it. And I'm parked in the direction of traffic. And the reason why this, is mad, this matters is because my truck, the fucking power steering column is fucked. I don't have power steering, which is good. I'm, I'm really building upper body strength. Apparently, a friend of mine wants me, wants me to be a uh, buff. Or I, could, I could respect that. The amount of time that I spent sitting on my ass lifting nothing harder than a fucking eight ball <laughs> it's it's, it's kind of distressing it's been it's been like a year and a half i can see how people can get fucked up but uh, that's not my intention here so the, the 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 truck is not easy to is not easy to pilot like it's it's a manual transmission it doesn't make that noise oh no it, it's it, it's it's not a jalopy but it's it's pretty close you know that, you know that word jalopy mm. i don't know so in my left hand, I got my phone, like I said. <sighs> and in my right hand, I'm holding a pound of organic ground beef that I'm eating like it's a fucking ciabatta. Okay. And I'm in the back of my truck. At the... Hey, there's a wave we Wow. Nice Camaro. Some hottie in a black Camaro. She's, she's not real impressed with me. I'm sitting in the back of my truck eating raw ground beef. Right, and I'm and I'm facing the traffic that's coming at me, right, and I'm wearing a kilt, and I don't have any underwear on. Okay, you see, so all I got to do at any given time is cross my legs, and and uh, eat more ground beef, raw, raw ground beef. It's fucking delicious. Eighty-five percent lean, fifteen percent fat. If you're gonna go all beef with your lunch. I recommend getting a little higher fat content because you don't you don't need to lean so much. Mmm, mmm, oh god, mmm. Those of you at home, I want you to imagine raw beef, raw ground beef in my mouth right now. That's what I'm. That's what I'm doing. In full view of onlookers. Not that there are any, but if there were, they'd see a guy in a kilt. Like I'm, I'm, I'm one cross-legged stance away. From picking up an indecent exposure charge, right? You see what I'm, you see what I'm doing? And, I, and I'm eating raw, eating raw, raw beef 
It's fucking delicious. Have, have you heard of raw beef? Because it's, it's not weed, but it's fucking amazing. Mmm. 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 I finally got my shit together, which is great. I got my car out of impound, which is lovely. Anybody want to know? Anybody want to know what the final what the final damage was on the impound for my fucking truck? Here's the good news. There's not as much as the price I paid for the other car that I got that doesn't run. Well, it runs, but it's fucked. Mmm. Oh my god, this beef is way better than I thought it would be. Where's the, what's, what's the brand? Uh, Northwest Finest. Grass-fed. Uh, oh, Oregon. No, that's pretty good. Packed by Interst- Quiet, you. Interstate, Interstate Meat Distributors Incorporated. Clackamas, Oregon. Okay. So, uh, I wouldn't recommend everybody just start eating raw meat. Because then the price would go up. And I, you know, fuck you, it's, it's mine. However... Mm, I want to tell you. Mm. A pound of raw beef is a little much for one for one person, right? But not just because I'm a titan. I'm a hungry titan, right? I should probably I should probably slow down a little bit and chew more of this ground beef. But see, that's the great thing about ground beef. It's already it's already it's comes pre chewed. And you really just need to pack it into your tummy. Mmm. Mmm. But why would you want to? It tastes so good. Raw beef. Mmm. 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 Now, I don't know if it's kosher. It might not be kosher ground, but I don't get flying fuck. Mmm. Oh. Wow. Oh, I feel so good in my tummy. A belly full of raw meat. I'm telling you. It's hard to really imagine a better life than this. Although, a uh, knife and fork, maybe. <laughs> a plate. Maybe a, maybe a fucking, maybe a napkin. Oh, fuck, I ain't got any of that shit. Oh, no, 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 no. Just, just fist, fistfuls of meat. Mmm. Oh. I've been trapped in my house for days, right? Mysteriously... Mysteriously, none of you yokels wanted to fucking help me. And I recently found out why. I'm not going to tell you why. Mm. However, like many of the escapades that I've been known to undertake, uh, um, my time has been wasted by the man. <clears throat> and for the moment, and for the moment, I'm understanding. Right? The man, the man's like the house at the casino. For one thing, the house always wins. And I guarantee you, the man always wins too. It might take him a while. Sometimes it takes him a good long while. <laughs> oh my God, Hurricane, you've been in prison for how many years? And you were innocent the whole time? Wow, we just found out. Shit. Sorry, man. Let me open the door for you. I wonder if they hired a fucking bellman to fucking send him out. Like, how does that happen? Dude's in prison for how many fucking years? And then they finally figure out that he didn't do it? Wow. I wonder why. Mm. 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 I probably... They probably don't serve raw beef in prison, huh? Damn. All the more reason to fucking stay out of it. Let me tell you what. Uh... I don't want to mock anybody who's gone to prison because a lot of brothers do and you know some people some people have to go to prison to get the fucking place in line uh, but not me not today mm. oh hi hi it's Jack Michaels here with a pound of raw meat in my stomach oh I should have filmed it but it's, it wasn't really that pretty really just me as I said stuffing in my face like I'm chowing down on a ciabatta because it comes in one of those one of those, one of those square packages fuck it was delicious oh. so I've been fantasizing for days what, what I'm going to fucking eat when I finally get some money when I finally get my money because when you, when you sell a bunch of gold it doesn't it doesn't 
It doesn't work the way you think it does. No, 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 no. There's a circuit. There's a there's a circuit. A circuitous circuit circuitous. A circuit. They go. They they hedge it. They they don't they don't give you the shit right away. They they have people, agents, let's say, that are uh, involved in the shit at every step of the process. Come on, somebody sells a lot of gold. That's a, that's a lot. That's a lot of money in motion. And when money and valuables are in motion, that's the that's the ideal time for some some asshole to fucking steal it. Right. So just because, uh, just because, just because, oh, sorry, just because I have, just because I have money, right, and just because money's coming in, doesn't mean it comes in right away. And just because I have money, and just because I'm spending it, that doesn't fucking mean punilling that I gotta fucking tell you how much I have. I don't have to tell you shit, okay? I'm a fucking idiot even telling you what I mean for lunch. I shouldn't even open my fucking mouth. I should keep I should keep my mouth shut, shouldn't I? Well, oh, we don't play that, really. I'm not really in the mood. I'm going to pause here because this, this Walmart truck is scrapping my style. Hi, hi, hi it's Jack. I'm a star. Uh, that, that hottie in the black Camaro drove out, drive in while I started. She was pulling out when I started talking to him, or I was about to. So I was checking out her car. I don't, it's, you know, it's not too bad. The lines on the modern Camaro, I, I kind of like it better than the old ones. But I can't, I can't respect a sports car that doesn't have a manual transmission. And the one time I tried driving a modern sports car that had a manual transmission, it wasn't, it wasn't manual at all. It was a little, it was like an electronic lever, right? You push in the clutch and then that, and then it, flips a solenoid that told that told the engine to change the transmission over semi-automatically and it was supposed to be like something worth paying for i drove it like fucking 12 seconds i'm like nope 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 no no when i pop my clutch i expect my fucking engine to disengage or re-engage whichever i don't expect i don't expect the computer to fucking think about whether it has fucking clearance from nato to fucking put my car in fucking neutral which is what the upshot of that is you got a fancy shifter you push in the clutch it's not a clutch it's your fucking computer control rod that tells the tells the man that you're looking to do a bootlegger reverse or whatever and the man doesn't want that so the man just fucking says no no let's just keep your fucking car fucking going Brr. they can do that they don't even need a warrant they just need probable cause which these days is uh not hard to come by it is target rich environment as they say for pc so i uh, uh, i'm thinking about not getting another truck. Well, oh look at that cute little dog. Oh my gosh, this woman's driving. She's got her dog sticking her head out. Oh, that's so cute. All right, sorry, I got distracted. So anyway, I, I'm thinking about whether or not to, to fix this uh, power steering problem because I can still drive the truck fine. It's a truck. It was made before 2000. It doesn't have a power steering solenoid. It doesn't fucking have to check in with NATO before I can fucking turn the car. It doesn't have a little fucking thing that gets fucking tripped by RFID that makes your fucking car drive off the fucking road like your fucking shotgunning it with fucking Cameron Diaz, right? Woo! I love making vanilla sky references. It's my favorite. Nobody saw that movie, right? All right. So, what I'm saying is is that I'm I'm back on the road. I got my shit together, and I think I've I think I've done well, and I've 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 got a reason. I'm not going to share that with you cuz it's none of your business Peter. But the reason why shit happened the way it did. Uh, I'm not I'm not as mad as you might think. I just shelled out twelve hundred bucks to to the impound, twelve hundred dollars. Nigga, you can buy a new car for that, or another car anyway. Maybe not new, new to me. Wow, look at that weird fucking PT Cruiser. Creepy. Had no windows. Oh, so I, I'm I'm certainly debating that while I'm sitting here for my laundry, and I thought I'd check in with folks, folks. You you people aren't folks. You're fucking reprobates. I thought I'd let you know. Because I, I, I have no life, right? You know, uh, just just because I got my shit in my car out of pocket doesn't mean doesn't mean doesn't mean the fucking fun game's over for me. Oh no 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 no! They got a whole fucking cavalcade of fucking ice capades fucking lined up for me. I can tell already. And a Safeway truck, kind of cramped my style, but whatever. At least at least I get to sit by the road and see trucks instead of instead of fucking sitting in fucking prison like some people do. I'm not gonna say like you do because. People like you, you reparates never gonna go to prison. Oh shit, no! You got a guaranteed fucking fed basket waiting for you. Isn't that nice? Isn't that great for you? 
Oh, fuck. Well, everybody's life's got their ups and downs. You know, we're all, we all come out even in the end. Usually at the end of the day. And but today uh, is going to be the first day I'm going to go home with 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 food and liquor. I'm still drinking, folks. It's food and liquor and uh, water. Water's water's good. I'm also drinking water. It's good. I got I got so desperate that I had to fucking drink the water that I've left out on my on my porch on my driveway. Uh, like a year and a half, I filled up these water bottles and I trucked them down there. And then rather than bring them to the house and use them, I just stacked them up. Well, I didn't stack them, but I I, I arranged them <laughs> arranged them in my uh, driveway. Uh, I think at the time I was pretty annoyed. Which doesn't really narrow down very much. I, 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 hi, I'm Jack. I spend a lot of time being annoyed. <sighs> but anyway, point being, water that was like emergency water, the only fucking clean water, clean, yeah, to sit in the sun for, you know, a year and a half. How clean can it be? Uh, okay, I'm lying. It's, it's totally holy water. I made, I made holy water. I can, I can do that. I don't know if you know. but <sighs> I'm kind of a big deal when it comes to divine shit. No one is more surprised than me, uh, but yeah, it works. So I I I I, I hung out uh, how many days? I think five six days before they finally got tired of me at the local gas station. I've been trespassed from the from the space age. That fucking that that woman. I shouldn't even I shouldn't even call her a woman. I shouldn't even identify her. Supposedly the 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 manager like whatever. She could manage with her fucking shoes. <clears throat> she she uh, she took umbrage in some way, and then decided that the best thing to do was to surround me by undercover bears and try to embarrass the shit out of me, and then trespass me. So instead, I embarrassed the shit out of her, and then got trespassed, which I think was the better way to go. Uh, I'm not sure how that's going to go down. She may she may feel apologetic about what she did. Uh, she may not have realized that she was tangling with the Jack Star, right? I don't. I do take shit from people, but not that not that day, and on that not on that issue. <clears throat> and re- realistically, I shouldn't have been fucking stranded at the goddamn gas station for fucking a week plus anyway, right? The fucking men shouldn't have fucking handled the deal the way they did. They chose to. I can't really fault the Washington State Patrol. I mean, they've got a complex job, you know. Mistakes can be made. Mistakes do get made. Mistakes have been made. Mistakes will be made. <sighs> today, today, not too many mistakes. Not really. I'm in the back of my truck. I'm not committing indecent exposure. I'm, I'm, I'm proud of that. It's, it's, there's, no, there's no temptation, but I, I am being watched fairly heavily because uh, people want to know, hey, what, what's, this, what's this crazy freak going to do? We thought he was broke. What? He's got how many thousands? Holy shit. What's he going to do? Where's he going to go? Ha 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 ha! What? What? Wait, wait! He's just, he's just gonna get his truck and drive away. Well, I thought his license was suspended. Well, <clears throat> a lot of the shit doesn't work the way you think it does. <laughs> and and as I've been down this lonely road before, dealing with things and stuff, never never quite like this. I've never been uh, pulled over in a sting where they want to steal my fucking vehicle. And believe me, if if my ve- if if my vehicle needed to be stolen, if I was up to anything, if I was if I was drug running, if I was rum running, if I was running anything, I'd be fucked. But thankfully, <clears throat> for me, I don't do such things. And uh, this is one of the circumstances where uh, uh, I could have been framed for anything, anything, if uh, things were in a slightly different configuration. And and if I deserve to be framed for things, so, sometimes sometimes that's what, that's what police do. Like they see a guy, not like me, but they see a person, and they watch this person for months and sometimes years, and they see him doing shit, clearly illegal shit, right? For most people, but on, under certain circumstances, that clearly illegal shit, that's, that's no problem. Yeah, he's supposed to be doing it. That's his job. And then the, the laws that he is breaking are the ones that are harder to spot, right? You can't just, like, set up a stakeout with a couple of uh, dudes. Oh, look at that dog right on. Nice dog. That guy, that dog would fucking tear my ass open. Holy shit. Like, definitely a pit bull breed, which is fine. I, I, hi, I'm Jack. I, I talk to trees and dogs. Uh, the dogs listen. The cats usually don't. And the trees... Um, well, I'm going to assume the trees do listen. Uh, I don't know what else a tree has to do besides listen to me, but let me tell you, a tree would have 
a much more boring day if it chose not to listen to me <clears throat> if I decide to talk to a tree. Which happens. Not, not today. Now I'm talking to you fucking wooden Pinocchio fucks. <sighs> Where was I? Oh, yeah. So my, uh, my, my truck is... My truck appears to have... They, I, don't, I don't think they went through it, which is nice. If they did look through it, they did a very cursory job and they didn't take anything out, which is good. Uh, I got a bunch of... Like, no shit. I got a bunch of magical objects in my, in my truck, like enchanted rings and shit. Um, not really valuable, unless you know what you're doing. Uh, but to me, it represents uh, quite, a, quite, quite a bit of work collecting and enchanting and de-enchanting and cursing and decursing, that kind of shit. I don't, I don't need to explain any of this to you, okay? I really don't. Uh, but this is the way the world works, for me anyway. And there will certainly be those who say that this is evidence of me being a paranoid schizophrenic. I'm not. I'm neither schizophrenic nor paranoid, and uh, I don't I don't mind being a goddamn sorcerer who fucking handles enchanted objects. I don't mind that at all. That my life has turned out this way. Uh, let me tell you, eating ground beef by the side of the road and yapping to you fools—that's just the beginning of my perks. Okay, I got a lot of shit going on that's 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 well and above the the usual. Uh, I'm going to say rights and privileges profile for the average punyling. I got other stuff going on, and I'm grateful for it every day. So I'm sure there, I'm sure there are those who are like, "Oh, Jack, Jack thinks he can do speed, blah 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 blah." Well, yeah, I fucking can. I can do a lot of shit, uh, but that's that's not really the point. Like it's kind of like saying, uh, "Oh, I want to be a firefighter so I can get in the truck and blow the horn when I'm going through th- through th- intersections," which I, I bet is the probably the number one reason why kids want to be firefighters when they grow up, so they can fucking drive the truck and blow the horn and fucking you know. Just fucking move everybody out of the way. Everybody gets out of the way for a fire truck. Doesn't that sound like fun? It'd be kind of a weird reason to be a firefighter, but I could, I could see it being the motivational force that would make a make a, a 70-year-old happy to be a firefighter for the rest of his life. Yeah, fuck yeah, I get to drive the truck. That must be fun. Uh, I don't get to do that. I drive a smaller truck that is red and black. And, and white. There's some chrome on it. Uh, and I don't, I, don't, I, don't get to, I don't get to blow my horn and blow people off. I, I don't get to do that cool stuff. I don't get to fight fires, uh, but I, I do get to do other stuff, and I'm and I'm I'm really happy about that. And then today, I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh, I don't have my service turned on. I'm talking on the Google Pixel Three that doesn't have service, but it does have battery. And I don't have my, my charging cables on me because I left them at home. But I'm in my truck. The truck runs. It's, it's, I'm pretty happy about that. <sighs> and I'm out several thousand dollars. Uh, but uh, that's okay. I'm rich, bitch. I got I got more money, more money, right? And I don't think that's usually the way things go. I I think usually in this part of the world, when they when they go to all the trouble of separating a man from his vehicle and and charging him thousands of dollars for all this bullshit, because it's bullshit. Uh, I think I think they usually uh, laugh and smile and go hee 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 hee. Usually, I think that's usually how it goes, right? Oh, yeah. Back into him. Fucking do it. There's, there's guys coming out of the parking lot. They're, they're having a... <laughs> they're having a contest of wills here between a... Uh, looks like a Ford Explorer. No, it's a, it's a Subaru SUV thing. And this fucking two-color, two-body tone uh, truck that's obviously been... It looks like it's been to the demolition Derby. Oh, it's one for that dog. Anyway. Wow, that's a fucking beast. All right. <clears throat> Sorry, I was distracted. I had to pay attention to the current surroundings. Oh, life is good. So uh, this is going to be... Uh, this, I didn't actually mean for this to be too long. This, is, this was supposed to be the preview slammer for my, for my show. My show. <laughs> show. <laughs> I don't want to show you nothing. I'm, I'm telling you a bunch of bullshit. That's me. Uh, I, w- I want to I say thank you. I want to tell a story. The reason why it took so, many t- so long to get my truck out is because... Um, once I got money, which happened Monday, this, this Monday, like five days ago, I had money, right? I was ready to go. And then instead of catching a ride up to Olympia, which I didn't need to go to, I didn't, do, I didn't need to go to Olympia. Fuck that. I had money. I had my wallet. I had my other wallet. I had my ID. I had a bank card. I had money in the bank, right? Uh, all I needed was a ride to get my truck. Instead... Instead, hey doggy, see you later. You're a good one. Oh, you're pretty. Oh, she's wearing lipstick too. 
Oh, what a cute dog. Oh my gosh. Bye. I love you too. Oh, what a cute dog. The dog can tell I was eating raw meat. I can tell. The dog's sniffing. Hey, was it? Who's that guy? That guy's talking to me. He, he smells like beef. <laughs> dogs are that clever. When, when, I'm, when I'm opening my mouth and air is coming out, huh, huh, you know, like I'm doing, the, it, it's, it fills the air around me with the, with the odor of raw beef. And, and that dog looked like it knew what raw beef was all about. So um, I'm sure the dog was ready to whore herself out for me. But I'm, I'm, not, I'm not that kind of boy. I'm not, no. Uh, but I do like being friends with a dog. I'll talk to a dog before I'll talk to the dog's owner. I, I, you know, that's probably the probably where the where the threat lies in a when a in a random council encounter when I'm walking down the road or anything. I, I I get to talk to dogs. I'm a sorcerer. I get to do that. It's not even it's not even crazy. The dogs talk back. We understand each other. Not well, admittedly. I don't really understand the stuff that goes through a dog's mind, but I'm sure it's, uh, you know, relevant to meat. So we have that common background. Um, I would I would go vegetarian for the right girl, but um, uh, that hasn't happened yet. Like I haven't been with a girl who said, "Jack, I really want to suck your penis three times a day for the rest of my life, and because of that, I would like it if you would stop eating meat." I would say, "No problem, honey." I would even live her, I would get a, I would let her get a head start. I would detox from the beef, and then and then she could look forward to drinking my manjas for the next uh, however many fucking years I live. Shit, I'm supposed to live 750 years. I got a 500-year extension on my contract. Maybe we'll see how that works. But if, if if a girl if a girl wants to make that deal with me, Jack, I'll suck your dick three times a day. And I mean, and I mean, suck your dick, Jack. I'll do that three times a day as long as you stop eating meat. Like that seems like a good deal to me, right? Uh, but that's that's well, it, good deal. A good actually, it's kind of a bad deal. I mean, because honestly, does. I wouldn't know, but it, doesn't it seem likely that a person would get tired of fellatio three times a day? I've heard I've heard that a person doesn't. Okay, but I've never. I don't think I've had. Depend depending on how one counts it, I don't think I've had it three times so far in my life, and I'm 51 now. So I'd be willing to give it a shot because it seems like if 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 it didn't work out, like like well for one thing, I mean if she misses a day, then I get I would clearly get a burger, right? That would have to be in the in the, in the contract, and. <clears throat> it's quite probable that I don't have to eat meat. I mean, I, I, I'm well built, sort of. There's, there's certain advantages to le- leading a vegetarian lifestyle or, in, or even a vegan lifestyle. I don't mind uh, changing my life to accommodate that. I could, right? I haven't seen any reason to stop being an omnivore. And uh, having, having been on a carnivore diet for uh, a week, which was amazing, I had a carnivore uh, Diet profile. I, I literally ate nothing but meat every day for uh, a week, a week plus. And before that, I had had a fair amount of meat in my life. Pause for questions about euphemisms. And uh, at the time, I didn't think it would be all that effective. But it turned out that I felt amazing. Amazing. It wasn't even, wasn't even cooked. Uh, raw meat. Not just ground beef. Like I, I, I spread out a little bit. Oh, there goes the sheriff. Cool. Anyway, I had nothing but raw meat for a week, and I felt amazing. And then I got fed enchiladas. And the next day I woke up, and I felt like shit. Like absolute dog shit awful. Because the the enchiladas had been uh, constructed in a way to, well, either to poison me or to not uh, make me, um, uh, not to make me... Um, reap the benefits of, of feeding off of the raw meat that was already in my colon because that stuff that doesn't it takes a while to digest there's no reason to shit it out if my body is still processing 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 and getting energy out of it there's no reason to unless like I, I shove a whole bunch of like flour tortillas and cheese and fucking rice and beans and shit and meat and some these really, really nice uh, tasty grilled uh, onion leeks I think she did it was a while ago this was oh god it was years ago it was like 2019 I think 20 it's like four years ago, right? By the way, Grapefruit's an awesome cook, just so you know. Um, I can't guarantee and verify that Grapefruit was the one who actually, actually, actually um, made those um, enchiladas. I, 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 fair guess. I mean, I th- she, if, she, if it wasn't her, it was somebody real close to her. <sighs> I miss her, I'm not going to lie. Anyway, enough of that. She's dead to me. Uh she didn't make she didn't make no offer of, of fellatio. But that that 
that kind of negotiation, that's going to have to happen. If, if, I ever, if I'm ever allowed to see that woman again, uh, odds are not, not necessarily good, just so you know. Uh, but if I were to have any kind of relationship with her again, there would have to be a discussion about what, what it's going to take to make me believe that this woman is in love with me. And frankly, frankly, uh, I don't require a fellatio for that purpose at all. But let's say, let's say the woman has stopped, stopped being a, a hardcore speed addict. I don't know that all the grapefruits were hardcore speed addicts, but I, I, I could guarantee you at least two of them certainly were, right? And how, pers- between you and me, I mean, I think those, th- I think those kind of things are, are, are first date questions, right? That, that kind of stuff should be brought up early, I think. I can, I can see waiting three years to mention, oh, by the way, I have a badge. I can see that. But things like, oh, by the way, I uh, secretly love speed and I'm going to use shitloads of it without inviting you. Uh, that kind of thing should probably be discussed early, right? Because I, uh, I didn't discover that nature of the relationship until a little while later. And in the future, uh, I, I would have no difficulties hanging out or associating with a person who has that kind of use profile. Because there are people in the world who are like that. Like, they are full the fuck on addicted, right? They have a chemical and physical dependency on blowing fucking fat fucking clouds, right? And the way that the man has handled this issue has been to give these people a prescription, and put them to work. That's that's that that has proven historically to be more effective than declaring them outlaws and trying to chase them down. Like, oh, they're on speed every day. They don't sleep for a month at a time, and they got a fry. They got a fucking bone to pick with the man. Yeah, that's that doesn't that doesn't that doesn't look. The optics are bad on that. Let's say. Right. And now, since I haven't talked to Grapefruit at all since fucking Christmas. Of fucking three years ago, uh, I don't know where the woman's at, right? I don't know if she was uh, uh, forced to relapse by a bunch of thuggy piggy overlords who who held her at gunpoint and forced them to force her to suck meth covered dick off. I don't know. That shit happens. I don't know. I don't know if uh, the thuggy piggy douchebag who was running around pretending to be me. I don't know. I don't know what he did. I don't want to know, really. Uh, but I do, I do know that somewhere running around the world, there's a woman named Grayford. I'd, I'd like to see her again. I don't fucking see why not, other than uh, some of my stories might, you know, make her go, ee, ee. I might, I might accidentally trigger, pro- probably not. I'm, I'm fairly, I'm, I'm pretty diplomatic. I'm not likely to make her freak out. But I'll tell you, she's, she's, not, she's not here fucking smoking American Spirit Black and eating fucking raw beef with me. I'm sure, I'm sure her sister that I didn't know very well didn't really know she had that many sisters they all look remarkably similar uh one of them thought i was a big fucking pussy like a faggot and a pussy whipped little little drug fiend who didn't even know what the good stuff was and she thought i was just this this fucking loser right uh since then she's been um undoubtedly informed of the real nature of the situation which is that jack star is one of the bigger ballers on the west coast i'm not slamming seven grand rocks but uh I wouldn't be out of place at a Charlie Scene uh, roast. Let's put it that way. Either presenting or visiting. Although I never met the man. But uh, having a girlfriend who does shitloads of drugs, that's, that's, that's something I'm rated for, actually. I, I kind of prefer it. Uh, having a girlfriend who, who goes to AA and lies about it. Uh, not, 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 not really what I want. Not really where I want to go with my life. Um, I don't like lying. I don't like covering for liars. I don't like... Oh, she's back. Huh. Chicken, the black Camaro. I don't like uh, pretending that things aren't happening when they clearly are. I don't... I don't... I don't... I don't like... I don't like giving up my fucking paycheck for other pe- other men's children when, they're, when they treat me like shit. Don't like that at all. So there's some... There's some... There's some questions about what the fuck the judge... Excuse me. <clears throat> there are some serious concerns that the court has when it comes to what they're going to do on the next court date, which is, uh, I believe, in six weeks, right? And uh, as far as I know, as far as I know, it looks like this thing is winding down. The whole thing's winding down, folks, which is great, because I, I, 
<sighs> I'm really, I'm really tired of this whole thing. I mean, it's great that they've cleared me. It's great that they've cleared me for all the stuff that I didn't do, uh, and now have set me up to be like teed off on the fucking back nine at the fucking masters. They're gonna fucking finally bust me for the shit that I really have done, whatever they think that is. I mean, nobody really knows. <laughs> And, and when the grand jury gets done listening to my collected works of finals with Jackstar, it's unlikely that the grand jury is going to find anything else. They're probably going to, I don't know, probably nothing. Probably nothing. But still, people want to know, how does Jack Michelson run around town doing all this bullshit with all these wonderful toys? How, how does he get away with it? Well, the answer is, I don't, I don't get away with shit. No, no, no. The, the man, the man caught out to me. The man pulled me over. The man took my truck. The man impounded my truck. The man told me to fucking get packing, and then I didn't. I just sat there for a week, making a fucking obscene, obnoxious mess of myself at the fucking local gas station. So much, so much so until they fucking threw me out. That, that's what happens with uh, Hungarians. I don't know if you've met any, but we're, we're kind of we're, we we could be dicks. I mean, I don't I don't think I am as a general rule, but in, 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 uh, yeah, I can I can I can be an asshole, sure. I don't see why I would be until until some fucking brainiac fucking pushes me too fucking far. Oh my god, what a bunch of bullshit. And the whole thing was a whole thing was a fucking setup anyway. Not that I'm going to fucking I'm not going to talk about it. But it was a setup. Oh. But fortunately, I don't need to go to the uh, space station gas station. I'm not I'm not really a fan. It's a little too It's a little too quakey. It's got the quake mart. Uh there's 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 earthquakes. I don't I don't I don't care for the quake experience, really. I don't really I don't really want to just pull over and pay a 300% markup on my beef jerky just so I can avoid town. All right. I'm not I'm not trying to ditch the local color constabulary. I'm not trying to get to where I'm going in a hurry. I don't need to make my fucking delivery run. I don't, none of that shit. So I don't really need the services that the Quake Mart provides at the Space Age. Space age. Uh, I mean, it's not. I don't have any. I don't think. I don't think against the establishment in general, but the the management, <clears throat> the management decided to uh, move me along from there, which is great because I didn't want to fucking be there fucking anyway. I wanted to be on the road with my fucking truck doing various things that's may or may not have something to do with fucking collecting enchanted objects and doing shit. Okay, I don't need to fucking talk to you about that fucking shit. All right, it's none of your goddamn business, Punylings. <clears throat> It is the police business, but uh, I don't need to talk about that either. So there you go. <laughs> and so that's why uh, for a week after my uh, impoundment, rather than just running again in my truck, uh, I, was, I was forced to, to, to have a little sit down in a way that's appropriate. Now I'm going to pause here because somebody's getting out. Hi, hi, it's Jack Michelson. I'm back. I didn't want to talk in front of this person. It, weird, it weirds people out. Like why? What's this guy saying? You know, when a, when a, when a, when a, when, a, when a phenomenon is observed, the the observer becomes part of the phenomenon. And I don't, I don't really want to get involved in that kind of shit, right? Like the woman who just drove by, and she pulled into the larger back parking lot. She was cute, and she looked like she's been held at gunpoint while taking a bunch of hypnotic drugs by some beaner who was sitting next to her. Not really. Wasn't really a beaner. That's just an example. But still, I'm not going to get involved in that. And she didn't. She didn't pay attention to me clocking her while she was driving by me. She didn't observe. Right? She didn't observe the experience of the man with raw meat in his belly. Who's? Um, I'm not. I'm not like real horny, but still, you probably want to keep your hands and feet away from Jack Michaelson for the time being until you're cleared. Right? Seriously, it's nuts. I mentioned I'm in full rut, but I don't know. If, I haven't published that work yet. Full, full, full rut. Jackstar is full rut. It's not. It's not. It, it's a force of nature. I'm not. I'm not lying. And so she didn't see me clocking her. If she had, like, gl- glanced at me and saw the look I was giving at her neck, uh, she'd probably um, not feel really good about it. <laughs> I wasn't ready to go for the jugular, but uh, I am kind of rated for that kind of thing. All right, where was I? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So so I I found myself. Uh, not able to get a ride and not willing to walk 26 miles. And then, and then this guy, I met this guy who, uh, rather than, rather than help me get my truck, uh, told me a bunch of stories about how he was in similar straits. It's like he was reading my diary back to me. And then, 
on the day when I got my money, when I got some money anyway, enough money, this guy comes over, tools me up, says a bunch of fucking statements that are meant to incriminate me, and then on the way out the door, oh gee, where do you, where do you gotta go, dude? He's in a, he's in a hurry. I mean, he doesn't want to he doesn't want to hang out and fucking smoke out all night. He just wants to you know accomplish his objectives, which he did. His objective was to take my fucking wallet. I have two wallets, thank God, uh, but only one debit card. Um, oops, actually I kind of did that way on purpose. I did I didn't know what was going to come in the future, but I knew I knew something was going to happen. So he takes my he takes my wallet that I that I need back. It's it's my father's leather billfold leather leather leather. My father gives it to me. It's got his passport in it, expired. It's got my passport in it, expired. It's got my ID. It's got my driver's license, my current driver's license. It's got uh, a, a, a Costco card that may or may not have money on it. I don't know. It's got my laundry uh, card where I fucking put uh, money on the card to go I could do laundry. I was on my way to do laundry, like for real. I was going to do laundry. I, I had a fucking a hefty bag filled with uh, dirty clothing in the back of my truck. It sat there for a week. Uh, it, it, I'm probably going to wash it twice because it smelled bad when I uh, opened the bag to check in. Yeah, my clothes are in there. Nobody, nobody searched through it. Would have been a perfect place to hide anything if I was, you know, hiding anything. I'm not, I'm not hiding anything. What, what you see is what you get. My, my bullshit story, as crazy as it sounds, is the fucking truth, motherfuckers. Just accept it, all right? Sometimes, sometimes people have a strange life, okay? Especially when they've been harassed by... Uh, I'm not going to say thuggy piggies, right? I've been harassed by primo psyop warriors for the last couple of years. In, in fact, there's been there's been something going on in the background that I wasn't really privy to. And and now I have like way, way more information about both the world itself as well as how the world works and the way the world was situated before as well as after. I know, I know way more than I thought I'd ever need to know about stuff. Uh, that doesn't make me an asset, but it does make me pretty valuable. Uh, especially since uh, I'm, I'm the one who's innocent, right? But the trouble with this identity theft shit is that uh, the police don't really know who's who after a certain point. The fucking CIA, like the literal, the literal company, they, they put their fingers into the fucking uh, uh, filing cabinets and they move this around and they do this and they press, do presto change your shit. They've been doing this for fucking years, right? And um, the reason for doing this is to, is to weed out the undesirables. I'm not really undesirable. I'm pretty awesome. Around here, I'm kind of undesirable. I can't really hang out in this area and be myself. I can't talk to the hoi polloi and, and fill them in on ways and means as much as I would like to. Not, not a whole lot, but uh, if I tell people what's going on and word gets out amongst the hoi polloi, then, then the man doesn't get to... The man isn't as effective. The man does not want this. The man wants people as, as much like sheep as they can get away with because the man is a wolf. Woof, right? And uh, in spite of my exhortations to the surrounding populace on Facebook and on uh, Twitter and uh, nextdoor.com, the bunch of fucking princes run that one, uh, nobody wanted to help me out, even though I had money, even though I'm innocent. uh, Nobody wanted to be the person to pick me up and drive me to the place where I needed to go. And after my uh, wallet disappeared, uh, almost immediately... A bunch of fraudulent charges showed up on my bank account. Ones that said uh, a seven hundred dollars to PayPal, four different numbers, and a hundred dollars to MetaPay. MetaPay. I've never heard some person I've never heard of. They they take my wallet and then almost instantly they take eight hundred bucks out of it. Eight hundred eight 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 hundred eight hundred. Not seven ninety nine. Not eight oh one. Eight hundred. So I was pretty sure there was something going on, right? So rather than, uh, you know, just suck it up as if, as if I don't deserve to have my father's leather bullfold and shit, as if, as if my passport and his passport aren't mine, right? Uh, rather, than, rather than be fearful that the cops are going to catch me for doing something, I call 911. I say, hey, blah, 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 this guy stole my wallet, blah, blah, blah. Because he did. He stole my fucking wallet. Uh, I don't remember him taking my wallet, but I do remember him asking for money before he left. Why this guy needs money. Like, okay, dude. Uh, He wants, you know, whatever. I go along with it because I know, I know when I'm being set up. It's happened so fucking many times in my life. 
Somebody shows up. Oh, we're best friends. Oh, suddenly he wants to help me out with things. Yeah, I bet he fucking does. That's his fucking job. Yeah. And uh, I look stupid, right? Hey, 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 I'm dumb. Right? Um, I'm not dumb. Hi. Not dumb at all. So whether or not this guy was actually tasked with taking the wallet and giving it to somebody or whether he just opportunistically took it, in either case, uh, the wallet disappears and then money's taken out of the account. Which tells me that somebody wants to slow me down. Somebody wants to get in my way. Somebody wants to pretend to be me. They take, they take my ID. They take my dad's passport. You know? Do you? Do you know? Do you pure anything? Do you know what you? Do you know what a person can do with an expired American passport? It looks brand new. The guy barely used it. It's mine. It's because I inherited it. And then I don't plan on pretending to be my father. But if I did, uh, here's a hint: wouldn't be that hard for me. And then it also wouldn't be that hard for fucking anybody to do it. I mean, dude's dead. His wife's dead. He's got no living relatives over here. Uh, he's got relatives in Hungary. Good luck. And then over here, it's just me. And I'm uh, bound up and wound up so tight, I can feel, can feel my testicles tickling the back of my goddamn throat when I fucking turn my head and cough. It's fucking nuts. <sighs> so in the face of this, the, the enforcement people, this is how they do Well, this isn't how they do it necessarily, but this is what they did do. They left me sitting at my house for a week. And then they sent a guy in a Grand Marquis, which I've, I've never been in a Grand Marquis. Nice fucking car, right? And he tells me, at first, it's going to be 200 bucks. I tell him my whole thing, because I have to go, not just to go get my truck now, I have to go get another debit card, because the only place where I can get a debit card is like 56 miles north in Olympia, right? I can't go anything local. I don't have the money required to get it out of the hawk, unless it's in the bank. So I can't just go 26 miles north to get my truck. Oh, no, 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 no. I got to go 56 miles north, get my bank card, and then go back down 30, 30 some miles to the place where the truck is, right? So the guy tells me it's going to be like 200 bucks. So great. We go up to BCU. No problem. I get my money. No problem. I hand, I hand the guy 200 bucks. There you go, dude. 200 bucks. I imagine that he's going to be cool. He's not, he's not that cool. I get down to the place where I have to impound, play the impound fee. I shell out 200 bucks. Bang, 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 bang. Take out the money, drop it down there. And fortunately, it's not all the money I have in the world. It's, it's a small percentage, really. But it's, it's a fairly large amount of money. And so this guy, he tells me that he needs another 120. Notice that it's 10%, 10, 10% of, the, of the impound. And I, and I look at him, I'm like, dude, for real? You said 200. And he's like, yeah, but now it's, now it's 320. <laughs> I go along with this, okay? And here's the reason why. That guy's paid his dues, okay? And whatever the fuck is going on here, it's not a whole lot different from me getting away with murder. He doesn't know that. He doesn't know what I'm getting away with. I'm clearly getting away with something because instead of fucking sitting in a fucking hole while the man rifles through my truck... I'm getting back in it and I'm driving away. That that looks that looks kind of shady, doesn't it? Like, where'd that money come from? Why are you so cool? Blah, 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 blah. Hey, hey, how come you're? Blah, how come you get? How come? How come you get to do this? And I went to prison for 12 years. Well, I, 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 did, I did not have time to explain to this man. It, I really kind of have been in prison for 12 years in a, in, a, in a very niche way that I don't I don't really care to describe, unless it's on a fucking unless it's at a fucking oh god a fucking well-stocked hotel room with a fucking uh, on-house call therapist with, with the wet bar being served to me by girls peeling grapes. I don't want to fucking talk about the fucking shit I've been through. Okay? And, well, I'm sure neither did he. Right? But since I didn't go to prison, I feel, I feel lucky that I'm not going to and that, frankly, I'm, I'm lucky that I'm alive. And if Grapefruit's alive, I'm, I'm lucky that she is too. Whether or not I get to see her again, that's not going to be a matter of luck. That's going to be a matter of what the, what the judge decides I'm going to get to do, right? Might not ever see her again. Then again, I might. And it's not as though she gets to say a vote. She, she can't just, like, call the court and say, Hey, hey, I just found out my ex has a whole bunch of money. Hey, I thought he was lying. Damn, can I go out with him again, please? I'll recant my story now. Yeah, she, she can't do that. That is not how it works. <laughs> if it did, if it did, things would work out differently, huh? <laughs> yeah. So, so this guy he hits me up for an extra 120, 
And at first, I'm 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 kind of I'm kind of like taken back. Like, what the fuck, man? Don't you know we're on the same team? We're we're not on the same team. He's on team driving to Grand Marquis. He's not he's not on team Jackstar. Oh no 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 no. No, I'm not going to invite this guy over for ground beef and, and, and ball rolling, you know? That's not going to happen. He's going to go do other stuff. And it, he probably can't ever do what I've been doing. Ever, he probably can't, right? So understandably, there's a certain amount of envy there. On top of that, obviously I have money. So I, just, I say, dude, like he, he hits me up for this extra money when I'm in my truck. I've already told him that my license is suspended, and he already knows. He knows he's got me by the short hairs. If I piss him off, he can he can call his buddies and say, "Hey, uh, he's told me his license is suspended, and now he's just driving down the road. Why don't you go get him?" That could that could happen, and that would happen if it didn't need to not happen, right? And I don't want to cause any trouble for that guy either. Kind of talked his ear off a little bit. Kind of annoyed him, I'm sure, especially since I accidentally was fresh with his wife. Because when I called the cab place, it's interesting. I couldn't find a couldn't find a cab place. No matter who I called, they were busy until Friday morning when I called, and one of them said, "Okay, yeah, no problem." And that was the man's wife. Right? The man's wife. I was certainly polite. I was polite to the entire time. Very polite. Very, very, in fact, polite. And uh, the second time I called, that ended with me. Uh, being told by her that the owner of the company was going to come pick, was going to call me, and he was almost there, and he was going to call me because he was actually calling her while I was on the phone with her, which was fine. Uh, what 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 was not fine is that I inadvertently called this woman baby. I said thank you, baby. I said that to this woman who undoubtedly was being recorded and listened to by, among other people, her husband. Okay. Uh, even if he didn't hear it live, that's that's what we call not not diplomatically correct, okay? And I, I knew instantly as soon as I said it out of my mouth, as soon as the word "baby" passed my lips, uh, I, I knew that I was doing something kind of inappropriate because I don't know this woman; I never met her. Uh, but I was in such great distress, I felt like an infant. I felt like a toddler. Like, just because I had money in the bank, just because I had this, just because I had a plan for getting myself out of the shitter, that doesn't mean shit, because the reason why I'm in the shitter, it's not because I'm an incompetent fool, it's because I'm surrounded by dudes with guns and wives and established business concerns who do things like beat the shit out of people who disrespect their wives, right? So I realized that, for whatever reason, this guy wanted 320 bucks to come to my house, pick me up at a Grand Marquis, drive me 56 miles north, wait at the Cold Stone Creamery getting a fucking ice cream cone or whatever the fuck it is he got while I get a whole bunch of money out of the bank. I'm, I'm, I'm clever. I, I do it the right way so I have enough money. Otherwise, I would have run into uh, withdrawal limits. Withdrawal limits are a pain in the ass when you call it, when you go to the bank and you've got a limit of $500 and you need to shell out like 1800 in one day. It helps to let the bank know ahead of time because uh, it's their job to make sure people don't get robbed. Uh, today, I wasn't robbed. Uh, it was a shakedown, but... It wasn't, it, it's not like, it's not like I, it's not like I don't need to pay any dues. Uh, I know I owe a bunch of money. I'm looking forward to paying it. And ironically, if these uh, people hadn't had to do their thing for whatever reason, uh, I would have been, I would have been paying my bills already. Right. Uh, but the thing about paying bills, people, 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 they don't really want people to pay them off. They want people to pay them interest, which, which is why uh, it was so great for some people that my truck had to sit in impound lockup for a few extra days at the princely sum of $66 a day. It's like I, it's like I bought a fucking hotel room for my fucking truck. <sighs> $66 per day. Not not 65, not 69, but 66. Right. <sighs> so, I'm not going to leave a bad review for this game for this guy's business on Yelp. I'm also not going to talk I'm, I'm not going to talk sweetly about it. I'm going to tell this story and say, um, be careful who you're talking to on the phone you might just be saying the wrong thing to the wrong guy at the wrong time because I didn't feel like kissing this guy's ass I don't I don't do a whole lot of kiss ass I really don't wow is that a fucking Humvee or is that a modified holy shit that was a cool car it was like a Jeep with like it was like an EM50 junior <laughs> anyway the so moral of the story is uh, be careful who you're talking to because the person that you're rude to I wasn't rude 
I was actually saying baby because I felt like a baby because I was like at the mercy of, of who on the phone was going to like be nice enough to give me a ride. Uh, I live out in the middle of nowhere. The only place to get water within, within a mile. I had just been trespassed from. I don't plan on going back. Fuck those people. Fuck them. They were rude. They were like seriously fucking rude. I bet they fucking think they own the fucking world. Fucking company fucking Jews. Anyway, <clears throat> it's not it's not really a Jew thing, but anyway, I like just saying that. Uh, so, and then uh, when I got home, the only place to get anything from that's not there is a five-mile walk the other direction. Or a three-and-a-half-mile walk in that direction. So either way, it's like seven miles just to get a fucking cup of coffee. And uh, none of my none of my neighbors are real fond of me, as you can imagine. I, I piss off a lot of people, especially people who are used to busting people like me. Huh? Fuck you! You ain't busting shit. Uh, but they have no problems making my life difficult. Right? Consequently, I have no problems celebrating their life and making it simple. Because the fact of the matter is, is that I do have money. Why not give it to the man? Why not give him their share? I mean, it's not like I mean, it's not like they don't earn it right and it's not like I haven't been very blessed and very very graciously um, helped by a lot of people a lot of those people a lot of those people excuse me a lot of those people I'll never actually meet I'll never see them I'll never ever know who they were but a lot of them have helped me in ways that are very much appreciated Way I, the way I hear it, some people have given their lives. Maybe, maybe not for me, but maybe, maybe for me. It's hard to say. They don't. They, the, the police services as well as the clandestine services. They don't. They don't talk about what they do. They just fucking do it because it has to be done. And I'm not a member of those services at all. And somebody's been running around town uh, for for a good little bit now. Uh, I don't know if they've stopped doing it, but they were telling people that I was retired special forces. I'm not. Number one, not retired. Number two, I'm not special forces. I'm a paladin, which is not even close to being special forces. It's not even close. It really isn't. It's nothing like that at all. However, uh, to some people, it may as well be, right? I, I, I hobnob with, with dudes, right? Hobnob, hobnob. Yeah, I, I hobnob. I don't, I don't congregate, I don't associate, I don't break bread with, with, with law enforcement, unless I do, right, like I did for fucking, how, how many, can somebody get, somebody contact Grapefruit for me, I don't want to risk a contact violation, but somebody, somebody contact Grapefruit and find out, did, how many of her, how many badges were there, and how, how long was I, was I oinking an oinker, boinking an oinker, how long was I doing that without knowing it, and, and she may not be allowed to say because there's rules, and I think some of them were, um, I'm going to say bent, right? But I did not know that I was being fucking let, let out to fucking pasture with a fucking sign on my head that said, this guy's retired special forces and has sex with girls who are cops. Shoot him. You know, I didn't, nobody, nobody told me they were setting me up for that. Uh, thankfully, thankfully I passed that test since, uh, um, well, like I say, I'm not, I'm not special forces. I'm, I'm a paladin, and that's not bullshit. So, I don't, I don't think they, I don't think they have a uh, demon sniper. But if they did, he wouldn't, he wouldn't be able to do shit to me because demons. And I don't think they have a sniper that's gonna be able to clear a shot on a fucking paladin. I don't think it works that way. If it did, I would have been sniped by now. And in fact, a few years ago, I was hit by this uh, psychic bullet. It wasn't pleasant at all, and it happened twice, and it fucking, fucking hurt. Uh, it really fucking hurt. There's actually tape on me, because the first time it happened, I called up Grapefruit. This is this is way back when we were like, I was she was still answering my calls. I could I could dial a number and expect to actually get the woman on the phone. Uh, I was on the phone, weeping and crying about stuff that made no sense even to me. Uh, nearly shrieking about it, right? And I'm on the phone with her for hours hours what was she supposed to be doing i don't know but it was fucked up it was fucked up and when that happened uh i imagine the people who thought i was going to die were pretty impressed i was impressed too it took me uh i would say a few weeks to figure out what the fuck just what the fuck had happened at all 
but essentially it was um, an assassination of some kinds that didn't work because I am a paladin and I don't know what kind of a fucking magic spell a fucking psychic bullet is but this fucking thing like I was just sitting in my room back up in Seattle and all of a sudden it was like my head had been blown off except it wasn't right I was getting I was getting psychic uh, not permissions but I was getting uh, not messages either but I was getting impressions of what, it, of what was happening in a parallel universe where I did had just get my, bl- my head blown off and it was it was fucked up I'm not lying to you it was one of the most fucked up things I'd ever experienced in my life um, hi I'm Jack I'm a star because reasons uh, I'm grateful I don't have to do that again because it really sucked and it's reasons for it's, it's because it's shit like that that um, whatever the fuck I am uh, it makes sense why a friend of mine would tell people that I'm retired special forces because according to her like I mean she knew a little bit about what the fuck a paladin is but she didn't know she's a woman she barely oh, she knows how to put on shoes and lie that's what she knows and then when people would ask her about me They'd get her all high as fuck and they'd ask her questions. I'm sure that happened a lot. Why wouldn't it, right? I've been rolling around towns doing my thing, which isn't that, it's really not that big a deal. But it looks like it's a big deal. And then, you know, it's, it's, it's raised questions. Here's the sheriff driving by. They know me. And there's Jack Star talking to his fucking phone that doesn't have service, but nevertheless, they still get everything. There's dudes. Oh, there's a bird that just went by. There's dudes listening to me right now. They're over the hill. They're not. They're not. They don't come close to me. They don't have to, but they are watching me to find out what the fuck I do. Hey, Jackstar just got two grand. What's he gonna spend it on? Is he gonna? Is he gonna buy weed? <laughs> no, I've already got weed. I'm good. I walked for my weed. I, I went to the store uh, uh, on my birthday, as a matter of fact, ten days ago, and I still have shitloads of weed left because I, I do use weed, but I don't. I don't abuse weed. And then I don't really abuse much of anything other than uh, plausible deniability and, and American jurisprudence. <laughs> a lot of people abuse those things, though. So what the fuck? I don't think there's a law against it. But getting back to what I was saying, I can, I can see why this friend of mine, uh, people were asking her. And then I can see how she didn't have any fucking idea what to fucking say. Because she doesn't really know me that well. She still doesn't know me that well. She doesn't know me well enough to know that she's crossed a fucking threshold line with me. Right? I mean, I still care for her and love her. She's one of my best friends ever. However, uh, she told a bunch of fucking lies. She got me in trouble. She did stupid shit on her own. She's probably being forced at gunpoint to do it. I think she got a shotgun wedding. I think she's being held under arrest somewhere. And, you know, that's, that's what happens when you live on the fucking hard line of the streets. Right? But hopefully, I have not, I have not uh, made my situation worse, nor hers. This cute little dog kind of disagrees. Right? Like, maybe I shouldn't be telling this story, but um, ne- nevertheless, I have. And I'm going to put this on YouTube, and you're going to fucking listen to it, and you're going to fucking eat up every fucking world. Ooh, 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 look at this dog. That dog, that dog means business. Yeah, now listen to that. What? What? What do you want? Not like that other dog. Wow, this dog means business. Probably, probably because there's no uh, ground beef. <laughs> yeah, the, the dog's not. Uh... Thanks, thanks, dog. Now, now we know there's something going on. <laughs> it's a paladin. It's a paladin. All right, uh, I got another story to tell, but I'll tell one later. And I, and I do want to say, uh, if that guy ever hears that story, uh, I don't, I don't begrudge you the money. I, the shakedown was. A little clumsy, dude, but that's okay. I mean, frankly, you know, honestly, you earned it. You did a good job. And I, I, I didn't mean to call your wife baby at all. I was actually... The word baby was on my mind because I wanted to let her know that I'm a fucking infant. And I, I kind of need to be taken care of once in a while. So, that is that. <laughs> yeah, when I found out I was uh, talking to the guy who was married to the woman, uh, I instantly felt bad because I, I, I had called his wife baby. And I wanted him to know that there wasn't anything funny going on. I'd never met the woman. Obviously, probably will never meet her at all, which is probably for the best because uh, her husband just shook me down for 120 bucks. Which, okay, okay, dude. All right. She'll be who's boss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
have fun. Have fun storming back your way to the castle. <laughs> peace. Hey, I gotta shut this off. Peace. Okay, peace. I'm not gonna do editing. Uh, I might edit this later, but I, I'm out in the field. I don't have time to do it that way. I really like that song when I do that, that layering thing, but I'm not gonna do it this time. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna sign off because Jackstar's okay. I'll talk to you later, my loveys. Bye-bye.